Okay, today I will introduce the stationary point. So first of all, let us look at the definition of the stationary point. So given a function fx, y, meaning it's a function of two independent variables, the stationary point of fx, y occurs when f x equals to zero and f y equals to zero, meaning the first partial derivative is equal to zero. f x equals zero, f y equals to zero. So this using this, we can find the stationary points. So now, how to determine the types of the stationary points? So we look at the properties. So the properties is depends on the Hessian function h. So it will be f x x multiplied by f y y minus f x y squared. So this is the Hessian function. Okay. So you need to differentiate two times and substitute in the Hessian function. So now, if h is less than 0, then the stationary point is a saddle point. If h is greater than 0, there are two possibilities, whether it's maximum point or it's minimum point. So when it's maximum, when f x x less than 0 and f y y also less than 0. And it is minimum when f x x greater than 0 and also f y y greater than 0. Okay, so if you got h that is positive or greater than 0, so you need to check for its uh, second derivative. Whereas if h equals 0, the test fails or no conclusion can be made. Okay, so the first step is. You need to find the first derivative and let it equal to zero. You will get two equations and you will solve the equations to find x and y. So you get the point, the stationary point. And to determine the types, you will substitute in the Hessian function. You differentiate a second partial derivatives and you substitute in the Hessian. And then uh, by the value of Hessian that you get, you will make a conclusion. Okay, that's it. Now we look at the example.